Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Uh, today I have a very nice video for you guys. What kind of uh, equipment do I carry on my 4x5 kit? Today I'm gonna show you guys what I have. I have actually two kits. One of them is a gift from a friend. It's a Sinar F2, I think, uh, that she gave me. It's a full kit. Uh, but that one uh, I will show you guys later. I'm just gonna show you my main, like the one that I take to all the trips and everything. I carry on this bag that is a little bit heavy. I look like an astronaut. Uh, I don't do a lot of hikes with all of this. Uh, I normally take a smaller backpack, but this is what I carry like whenever I'm going to places or to a studio to take my, my equipment. I am not like a landscape photographer. I'm more into portraits and photographing people. That's, that's my, my thing. All of the stuff that I have here is mostly f just for that. So let's get started. Yoji is gonna help us today presenting everything that I have here. Um, the backpack is F64. Like I said before, it's a little bit big for, for a 4x5 camera. Uh, but uh, what I like is that I have all these pouches that I bought additional for all the film holders. So I have four of them, depending on the kind of, of shoot that I have. I, I just fill them with the kind of uh, film and I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the system that I use to identify what kind of film I have on each holder and, and yeah. So let's open up the bag. Okay, so first, okay, the most important piece, the camera. I have the Chamonix X2. Uh, let me just open up. This is this is a beautiful piece of art. I, I really like this camera and how well made it is. Uh, I have it with a, a Snyder uh, 210 millimeters. And um, I mean, so far, this has been my camera. I started four by five, shooting four by five, like about, well, I can say like 15 years. And uh, this was my first camera that I got from eBay, uh, Graflex, Speed Graphic. And that was the time where like everybody was turning to, to digital mm. and, and I was very into like analog mm. at that time. Uh, I think that was like what, 2006? And it was, it was uh, very nice just to, to work with all kinds of film. At that time, there was a lot of film available and I was able to, to shoot a lot with that one. Mostly what I was shooting at that time was my family. Um, I've been photographing my, my parents, uh, like doing portraits of them for almost 20 years. And I mean, I, I really love every single portrait that I have done for them. Okay, the camera, Chamonix H2. my blog uh, on my website, andreshernandez.net. I'm gonna put like everything that I have on this bag so you guys can check it out. Okay, so next I have, I have these pouches that I, I bought in this company called Wonder uh, that I really like. And this is for the case. 
I have this one. I think this one I got it from, from Amazon. It's a very, it, it doesn't have like a brand or anything. I don't think it has a brand. Oh yeah, it has a brand. It's called E-Tones. It's from China. So it's a regular cape, nothing special, nothing, nothing. I was doing it with a black uh, before I get it, I was getting this uh, with a black um, shower curtain. I don't know if you guys remember in one of the videos that I have on my channel. So I got this one, it's really good. Um, okay, so next I have, this is the changing film bag as well. Something basic, nothing, nothing out of this world. Um, I don't like the tents, uh, I just prefer this. I mean, if I had an eight by 10, I would prefer like a, a, one of the little big tents, but this one works perfect. Um, okay, another wonder pouch. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, I have this Lee filter system. Uh, I really like it. Um, the kind of filters that it use uh, is the 150. And I, I know in some videos people have asked me about this uh, filter system. And it's really cool because you can use you can use a very like wide angle um, lens. Um, so this one I have it, and I have as well. Okay, you know what I forgot to bring the filter pouch. But this is the adapter for the lens. Uh, let's put everything here. Okay, I'm gonna show you my Lee. So this is the filter uh, pouch that I use. Um, the filters are massive, and this is the size. This is an end grad, soft, um, that I use for landscape. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I'm not very into landscapes, but I use it here and there. And I have this one that I haven't used yet but I wanted to use it for, for some skylines that I wanted to do, the big stopper. I have it here, it's, it's brand new. And I have some polarizer as well somewhere. Ah, okay, this is something that my friend gave me with, with uh, the kit. Is the Kodak, Kodak color compensating filters. Uh, there's a bunch of them. I haven't even used them yet, but there are all kinds, and this is mostly to balance the tungsten to the certain kind of film, and there's like a, a like a kind of booklet, so where you can see what you should use depending if it's fluorescent or whatever. I haven't used it, to tell you the truth. Okay, so let's continue. I, I always try to keep uh, two empty film boxes and I mark them empty. Um, so whenever I have anything uh, that I, I'm running out of uh, holders, film holders, I just have to transfer to the boxes. And yeah, that's how I, I do it. I, I even have the, the bag. So that's very important for me. Especially that, I use that, especially when I'm traveling. Mm. This is a very nice piece of equipment. This is from the, I got this one uh, when I got the Sinar. This is a panoramic um, film holder. It's the Sinar Vario. So you can, you can put a 120 film and you can shoot like, uh, I think it's six by 12 is the size. And I have some of the photos. Uh, I'm gonna make a video, separate video for that because I, I traveled to the Pacific jungle in Colombia 
and I took this one and I took several shots mm. of the jungle and you know the, the beach and it, it was very nice. So I use this one, I have to use it again. Um, yeah. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so I have these pouches that I think I got on an airline somewhere. Yeah, I think it was an airline. Um, on this pouch, I have, okay, just to focus, I have this uh, backup, if I lose this one, this is the Tojo one, uh, I don't know what the mani magnification on this one is, I don't know, um, I just got it on, on eBay. And this one is an A 8X, so this one works perfect. But yeah, I have a, a backup. Okay, and here I have this uh, spot meter, uh, Minolta. I, I like this one, but I use it mostly for, for landscape. Um, for, for portraits, I prefer to use the Seconic. This is an old one. This has been with me like for 15 years. The L358. And I, um, I'm very used to this one. I, I love this, this meter. So I have both as a backup. Uh, okay, so I always keep tape because you never know you need to write something on, on, the, on the film holder or anything. Um, this is another lens that I have. So this is the, okay, the Snyder uh, 90, 5.6, the super angle on. So this one I use it mostly for landscape. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I will put all the information on my on my website, so you guys can take a look um, to clean dust on the film holders. This is very important. Before I load the film, I try to get all the dust because you never know. Um, okay, I sometimes take extra, extra uh, levels because sometimes they, I mean, these, these levels, I don't know, um, I, I, I'd rather use these ones on, on the camera on top. I, I mean, I try to put them all over the camera uh, and I use the ones from the from the tripod as well. Uh, talking about tripod, because I use this camera mostly for portraits. The tripod that I have is a very heavy duty Manfrotto. I'm looking to get uh, one carbon fiber just to be able to to carry around. So pen and, and a kind of uh, booklet, like a kind of to take notes of whenever you need to remember, okay, this one I need to push, uh, this uh, holder I need to push it, uh, one stop, two stops, or whatever you, settings you have on the, on the lens or whatever, if you want to remember, this is, this is good to keep on your, on your backpack. Okay, so let's continue to... Okay, I'm just gonna get this here. Let me just get one of this. So the way that my system for, for the film holders is the following. So, 
Whenever I have all the, fold, uh, the film holders empty, I put them this way. I like to be very anal with, with everything uh, film related. So I mark everything, the kind of film, the ISO. This is my system for film holders. So whenever I see a, this pouch and all the film holders are in this way, all of the film holders are empty. Whenever I see the film holders like this, they are loaded. Why? Because in this way I can see the kind of film that I have and whenever the film holder is this way, you might have an accident and just pull the slide, the dark slide from the side or open the, the, the film holder so you can make a mistake. So for me, it's better to have them this way so whenever I'm just gonna start shooting, I can grab them from here. And I have every single film holder mark. And I have a A side and a B side. So I can, whenever I take the notes, I can say, okay, film holder number 04, uh, B side. I took this one uh, uh, with the Snyder, 10 and the aperture was 5.6 and I can put all the notes and I, I can remember whenever I develop this so so this is a system that I just tried to figure out I, I, I didn't see anything uh, like a, a tutorial or anything about that I just figured out uh, my own way here I have the the il 4 400 Let's see what I have here. On this pouch, I have T-Max. T-Max. So these ones are loaded. So, perfect. This one I have Portra. And Portra as well, I think. But this one is not loaded. Ah, oh, no, this is Ilford HP Pipe. That's it guys, okay, I wanted to show you guys whenever I have to go to a city or, or to a studio and I don't want to take this back and I, I'm not driving in my car. Um, I'll, I'll take this backpack and the good thing about this backpack is that the Chamonix, the camera, uh, is gonna be perfectly safe here. It goes here, right there, and I put like a few accessories and if I have to put another lens, if I have to put one of the uh, film holders, and if I have to put the emitter, and, and I put always this, and that's it. The backpack is this is a second option. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. So this is my second option as a backpack in order not to take the F64 backpack that is massive. And yeah, that's basically it. This is my, this is my kit. And if you guys have any questions, any concerns or or you want to correct me on anything just let me know and, and yeah i mean i can I, whatever i know i can i can help you guys uh, also don't don't forget to to subscribe if you want to keep uh, watching these videos and thank you so much for watching and see you next week bye bye Yeah, you want to be in front of the camera too. Come here and show and say hi, because you always want to say hi to my viewers. Say hi. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. You say hi already. Okay. 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 You can go down. <laughs>